That's a big box. That is a very, very big box. Challenge accepted. So today's video is all about a brand new gaming chair from Autofull. Thank you so much for sending this my way. It's an eSports chair. And you know what? I gotta say, the timing of this is perfect. Because if you look behind me, it's no secret. Especially if you watch my vlogs. I'm actually in the process of moving into a new house. Hopefully within two weeks. Finally. Man, I started this process back in the summer and I'm so glad it's just finally wrapping up. Anyway, let me do my intro. Hello guys, how are you? My name is David Franco from twitch.tv slash... Actually, hold on. David's twitch.com. It's much, much easier than typing all that out, right? David's twitch.com. Check it out. So today's video, I'm going to focus on this gaming chair. I'm going to unbox it, put it together, show you how easy it is to build. And then, of course, I'll wrap up the video with some first impressions. Um, because I got to say, not only is the timing perfect because I'm moving, as I've made very clear, but my current gaming chair from Kinsall, it's been great for the past year. But for whatever reason, it's just lost its comfort in recent months. I guess that just goes to show you how much I play my video games, especially on Twitch. I've been obsessed with Black Ops 4. Blackout? Oh, what a great game. Anyway, I just got back from TwitchCon, so let's go full force on YouTube again. Let's unbox this chair. It's pretty big. I'm honestly not even sure how to go about this because I'm quite limited on space and I'm not going to carry this box upstairs because I got to say it is a heavy heavy box definitely the heaviest product I've unboxed in probably at least a year uh, but here we go I guess we'll try to open it like this and we'll go from there knocking things down already got my knife right here of course a brand new Rudders coffee I love you Rudders let's open this box I guess we'll start from this end. This box is just huge. Make my own cuts here. So I get this thing opened. Let's go over this side now. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Love it. All right, I got the wheels out. That was pretty easy. But check this out, guys. The reveal. I absolutely love the color scheme. Black and red always look right together. Man, I got quite a process ahead of me. You know, I gotta say, it doesn't look like there's that many parts, aside from the hardware, which is in that box. That should be interesting. Anyway, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six main pieces, not bad. And the heaviest so far is definitely this, the back part. All right, now for this box. Yeah, it's actually big enough to stand in, so why not? All right, it's got some nice weight to it. Obviously, this is all the hardware, you know, the screws and everything. So let's see what it looks like inside. Those are old Power Rangers comics from years ago. Pretty cool, right? We find them in storage. Let's see what this box is all about. As always, being a vlogger is kind of tough because you have to do everything in... One hand sometimes. And there you go. The wheels, which look amazing. Got some documentation. Obviously, I'll be checking that out. I don't want to mess this up. Got some good weight to that. Very nice. Heft is usually a good sign when, uh, with, with a chair. All right. That's really heavy. Oh man, I am extremely limited on space. I cannot wait to get my move done. Got some screws. Huh. Not something I expected, but that's actually really cool. Some working gloves, I guess, to help against blisters and bleeding and whatever. That is a really cool touch. Full auto, props. I've never ever seen that in a chair assembly. And we got a heavy old plate with the branding on it. So that should be it for unboxing everything. Let me start putting things together and I'll update you guys with, of course, plenty of coffee to keep me energized. We're getting there, putting this cushion plate on. Incredibly easy process so far. Not bad. And check it out. This Allen wrench, 
has a Phillips head screwdriver on the uh, other end, which I think is pretty cool. Also, when you're screwing things in, and yeah, this might be common sense, but I'm going to say it anyway, you typically want to go zigzag motion. For instance, top right first, bottom left second, top left third, bottom right fourth. That way the pressure is evenly distributed. I apologize for the camera shake. The camera's literally sitting on top of the chair. Not much I can do about that. But yeah, so far so good, guys. Very easy. Hold on. One minute. I made a mistake, but that's why I make videos like this, right? So you don't have to make the same mistakes I do. Follow the instructions carefully. Always be sure to look ahead because this should have been mounted with this. So basically the screws are going to hold this and this in place at the same time. So basically you have to take these four out. Not a big deal. So yes, there you go. Do not make the same mistake I did, all right? Yeah, it only takes a minute or two to fix. But still, that's a minute or two I could be using to drink my coffee. There you go. That's more like it. Coffee break. Where did I put my coffee? There it is. I am hyped to stream tonight, by the way. It's been a full week since I've done a real stream. Okay, I did a, like a just chatting stream. Um, in a bar in San Jose. But that doesn't count. I'm talking about like sitting down comfortably at that, thanks to this new chair, and just gaming. Alright, let's continue. Alright, now we're going to take the wheels and connect it to the bottom of the chair. Where did I put the wheels? Oh, that's right, I put them back in the box. Just to save room. And there you go. Looking good, right? Pretty sweet. And in theory, kind of just drop it in. Pretty sure it's that easy. Hunter! Hi! What are you doing over here? What's up, Ma? Oh, you just you just scared Hunter. Jasmine? Giving the cat some water. Hi, Blinks. Alright, guys. I think I'm done. Um, yes, I changed shirts. We actually had someone here for an interview. We're going to be in a newspaper, which is pretty cool. And they took a picture. Obviously, I can't wear a PUBG shirt. Um, because I've gotten in trouble with that in the past. With like a paid video, they're like, you can't be wearing that. I'm like, I know. We celebrities. Just kidding. Sorry. This is a chair review. This isn't a dancing vlog. Sorry. You know what? Let's dance anyway. Yo, I danced in San Jose. It was fun. So basically, hold on. You're sitting on the, uh, the lumbar support, which I don't necessarily need. I'm, I'm not sure yet. And this you don't need up there. Uh, no, no, hold on. This I'm going to keep. This I don't need. That's what I meant to say. It's not bad, right? Yeah, what's um, you can do height adjustment. These actually adjust as well with height. And this you can lock into place to go at you know, certain, certain angles. Whoa. It's pretty nice, right? It's what not bad. This? Also, what's really cool is Why this... Because so I have it low. What's, what's really cool is these are translucent or transparent. Like, oh, maybe more translucent. So if light shines through here, so it actually looks like the chair is lighting up, which is pretty cool. So guys, there you have it. First impressions are positive. Overall build process was pretty easy. A little frustrating there, but only because I'm limited on space. Um, but yes, the lumbar support feels good. This, this back is actually mesh. And this head support Works pretty well, because let's face it, my uh, average stream ranges from like five to six hours every night. So the more comfort I can get, the better. And I gotta say, it's not bad. Audifull, thank you so much for sending this. Really, really appreciate it. Of course, this is not my final impressions. Th these are just first impressions. I'm gonna need at least a week or two so I see how this feels. Um, but the fact that everything is adjustable with height, like these are adjustable, like I said, the overall chair is adjustable. And of course, this goes back. So let me do this. Check it out. I don't know how far back it goes. I don't want to fall off, <laughs> but uh, yeah. There you go, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Check it out right below. It's linked on Amazon, and I'll talk to you soon. Peace.